KCRG TV9 filed an open records request for district emails from the superintendent and Starry Elementary principal regarding the case. After weeks, the district turned over just 11 emails, claiming the rest of the emails could identify students or personnel matters, even if the names were redacted. But the district won't even tell us how many emails it claims are protected. The emails we did receive raise more questions about what the district told us and parents. When we talked to Superintendent Chris Dyer last month, he was very clear as to why the district never sent any communication to parents about the allegations of sexual abuse. We have been directed by the Marion Independent School District's Police Department to cease with our communications. Nevertheless, several emails show the situation was in fact discussed to some who inquired about it. One sent by Starry Elementary Principal Annette Meyer even goes as far as to say, quote, the volunteer in question has been removed from the building and is not to be on school grounds. The school is reviewing volunteer policies, both for adult volunteers and high school volunteers, end quote. That email was sent November 9th, nearly two weeks before an arrest was made in the case. It's been five months since Logan McMurrin was arrested, and even now details like the one discussed by Meyer all those months ago are still yet to be included in any public statement made by either the district or the Marion Police Department. Only one email shows a complaint from someone. We don't know exactly who because the district redacted the name of the sender. It questions the timing of allowing the varsity basketball team to volunteer in Starry Elementary classrooms just days after the allegations of abuse emerged. But we know there are more parental complaints. One email a parent shared with us was not included in the 11 emails the district gave us, despite the fact it includes no mention of a specific student or teacher, which is why the district has said this email, along with countless others, should be kept secret. TV9 plans to bring this to the attention of the Iowa Open Records Board. We will keep you updated if the district turns over more records. Josh Scheinblum, KCRG, TV9 News.